Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, I showed you how to use the YubiKey to log into the Mac OS. Now, at the end of that video, you were able to log in using the YubiKey or not, just using the simple password feature. In this video, we're gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna show you how to log into Mac OS, but we're gonna lock it down to the YubiKey only, therefore disabling the password feature. So if you think this is something you're interested in seeing, then stick around. Okay, so before we get started with today's video, I suggest if you didn't see the last video, signing into the Mac OS using the YubiKey, go watch that video now. I'll put a link here up above before watching this video because this is a continuation of that video. Now that said, let me switch over to the computer screen and we'll get started with today's process. So the first thing we're gonna do is go out to Apple's support website and I'll put the full link to this page down in the video description. We're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom of the page where it says sample smart card only configuration profile. We have to copy this code here and save it to a file on our computer. But I wanna point out right here, this is what makes it all work. This line of code right here where it says enforce smart card and the value is true. Now, for the purpose of this video, I've already copied all this code and saved it to my desktop, and I'll show you that right here. It is right here. Now, I'm not going to open it, but I'm simply going to double click it to install it into the system preferences profile. Are you sure you want to install the smart card only? And we're going to go ahead and we're going to say continue. Are you sure you want to install profile smart card only? And we're going to say install. Now it's asking me for the pin. And now that the smart card only profile is installed, we should be able to log into this computer using only the pin, not the password. So we're gonna test that out now. So let me lock the computer. And now you see it's asking for the pin code. So if I put in the pin, we should be able to log in no problem. Let me lock it again. And this time I'll pull out the smart key. And you see here, it does change from pin to enter password, but it should not accept my password. Let's give that a shot. And you see it says smart card required. So let me get the YubiKey put back into the computer. And now it says pin and we'll go ahead and we'll add the pin. And now you can see we're successfully logged in. All right, so you can see now we have the Mac locked down to signing in with the YubiKey only. That was the intent of this video. However, what happens is in the future you decide you want to unpair your Mac from using the YubiKey. Well, that can be done. There's a couple of steps and I'm gonna show you those now. But the one very important step that you have to make sure you do is to remove the smart card only requirement from the system preferences profile. If you fail to do that, you will end up locked out of your Mac. So let's take a look at my screen. Let me show you the process. On the left, I have my system preferences window open. On the right, I have the YubiKey manager windows open. Now we're gonna come over to the system preferences. We're gonna come down, we're gonna click on profiles. We're gonna select the smart card only profile and we're going to go ahead and delete it. We'll get a confirmation message asking, are we sure we want to remove the profile? We're going to go ahead and say, remove the profile. It's going to ask for the pin. We're gonna enter the pin. And now you can see the profile is gone. That is the most important step in the process. If you fail to do that, you're going to get locked out of your Mac. Now, the second step in the process, actually second, there are two minor steps to do. You need to delete those two certificates that were created in the initial process. So we're gonna come into the YubiKey Manager. We're gonna come down to Applications. We're gonna choose the PIV application. We're going to come to Certificates. We're gonna click on Configure Certificates. Under the Authentication tab, you see we have the certificate here. We're going to go ahead and we're gonna click Delete. It's gonna ask us to confirm, we're gonna say yes. 
We're going to say use the default management key because that's the key we use to create the certificates. We're going to say OK. We're going to do the exact same thing on the key management tab. So we're going to come down to key management and we're going to delete the second certificate. Again, we get the confirmation message. Again, we're going to use the default key and then we're going to say OK. Now that you have that done, you have completely unpaired your Mac from the actual YubiKey. Now remember, you need to remove that smart card only profile from the system preferences. So I hope you found some value in today's video. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.